Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly landscape update video that I do on this house that I moved into the end of last year uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's zone 7B. Uh, I've, I've moved this place forward quite a bit from where it was uh, maybe seven or eight months ago. I've uh, torn off an old screen porch and put a new screen porch on, built that building back here behind me and uh, sodded this space right here and planted plants all over the place and in the middle of laying drip irrigation now and about to mulch uh, this space uh, for the first time really. I, I put down some wood chips um, initially but I'm going to go through and make all these paths in the back uh, the way I want them and uh, define everything. So uh, it, it, within the next week or two, this place will finally kind of look like what I had in mind initially. It will not be complete by any stretch of the imagination. There's still a ton of work to do, but it will be. It will at least look like uh, what I had planned uh, originally. So, so that's taken a while. And if you've watched these videos since the beginning, you know how far it's uh, actually come. I got a ton done this week, and I'm probably going to miss things uh, in this video. And I'm going to just kind of in my brain think about it from over here. If you've watched my propagation series, my propagation uh, setup is working well over here. I've got three uh, flats in the greenhouse. I'll probably have another propagation video the day after you see uh, this one, adding a few things to uh, that space. But the propagation's working great. I gotta complete that greenhouse over there around it uh, as it gets cooler in the fall. And that way I can winter protect those uh, rooted cuttings uh, that I'm rooting uh, the rest of the season. I pulled out um, vegetable flats uh, from the uh, from the uh, house. I've got uh, broccoli and kohlrabi and uh, I don't remember what else I have. Oh, I've got so, uh, some Swiss chard that I'll just use in uh, containers uh, in the fall. And there are several other things. Oh, I did some zinnias and so I did some cosmos. So I'll have some fall crops of uh, flowering things uh, out here in the back and probably a few other things that I brought out. But those uh, seedlings look great and they'll go in uh, pretty soon. Uh, in the vegetable garden over there, uh, my uh, uh, green beans finally just kind of gave up and weren't really producing. So I went ahead and tore those off the fence over there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some peas in for the fall to climb on that fence over there. Uh, and uh, that fence is eventually going away. If this is the first video you're finding me, I'm replacing the fence. I have to say that in every video because it stands out. Uh, and I realize it stands out. Uh, and that may be about it here. The big, huge progress uh, that I've made is out front, and I'll actually walk around with the camera and show you that. So I showed this weird side of the driveway uh, for the first time last week, and I still got to clean up all this brick and debris back here, and I'm gonna take that wall out. Um, but down here at this curb, I cleaned up this week, finally got this under control. It was just a absolute mess uh, around this area. And rather than put this bricks on a lean, uh, that hold this uh, edge of the driveway in place. I think I'm actually just gonna pour a concrete edge on it uh, all the way up and uh, where you won't be able to see it. Uh, and it'll just be a neat and orderly edge that will be buried to keep those bricks in place. Eventually I'm pulling these br this brick driveway up and redoing it. But uh, I don't wanna put those bricks back on a lean on the edge. Um, I I'd rather just uh, rather just have it neat, uh, you know, a neat edge, as neat as this can be before I redo it. But uh, anyway, this is a much neater uh, space now. If I move over here uh, to this side of the uh, front yard, I also edged along the driveway here and uh, this, the rest of this street. I showed some of this last week, but up here, up further up the street up here was just an absolute, absolute mess. I've got in a ton of plants this week that are going to go into this uh, front yard space. There's a video from yesterday from uh, plantsbymail.com delivery uh, that uh, those things are going to go in. They're over on the the top of the drive they're right on the top of the driveway up there um, but i showed them in a video yesterday there's also a giveaway associated with that video if you want to go back and look at that video and make sure you're entered for the uh, 200 dollars gift cards and then i got lots of other things i've got some spirea and uh, indian hawthorn over there some new butterfly bushes that are upright and narrow that i'll be talking quite a bit about over the next uh, year but you see how uh, it's like a columnar uh, butterfly bush right there a crepe myrtle here that I don't actually think I'm going to put in this yard, but I've got an idea of a place to put it in a fringe yard and a new arborvita variety that I'll be talking about pretty soon that uh, is uh, pretty exciting that uh, uh, right there. So those things came in yesterday. They're going to go into this uh, landscape space. This area uh, over here uh, is the area you saw at the beginning of the video doing the drip irrigation. I'm hooking the drip irrigation up to a... Uh, to the uh, 
to the house, there's a spigot behind those azaleas right there. Uh, that's where it will initially be hooked up. My meter, water meter is actually over here, and I'm going to put a second meter in and uh, hook the irrigation up to that eventually. But for now, it will be on a spigot, and so the spigot doesn't have unlimited pressure or unlimited water, and therefore you have to, uh, you know, create multiple zones. I mean, you can't run this whole front yard. So this this little piece over here that I did, uh, that you saw in the beginning of the video, that's on one zone, and then I have a second zone that comes around the turf right here, uh, wiggles its way through there, and does this annual bed uh, that's right in here. You can see that from the uh, drone footage. You can see the little lines on the ground, but this, uh, an these annuals will be, will, are gonna become perennials and, and shrubs and that kind of thing once they start to uh, fade. So the other thing I did is I went around and edged uh, around all of this, uh, this new sod and create a little trench edge around it for the mulch to fall up against it. I did the same thing in the backyard and that should be uh, um, really neat and orderly when, the, uh, when it gets mulched. The mulch will just fall right up against that uh, sharp, crispy edge. That was the reason for lowering this uh, section along the, uh, along the road edge as well. Here's a shot across the uh, whole front yard. Obviously these things are the things I just got in that box uh, yesterday and uh, there'll be, uh, most of it will be planted uh, when you see this next week. I wanna get most of the planting done for the things I already have here uh, before I mulch. It just makes sense. You don't, uh, I'd, I'd rather not um, disturb the mulch once I, uh, once I put it down. Uh, all these annuals look terrific. They were put here, you know, just as a, uh, a gap stop for this year so I could have some color. I uh, have something interesting uh, out here while I uh, worked on other projects that I have going on inside and outside of this house. And uh, <clears throat> turf looks great. There's the area over there that um, we just walked over to and uh, saw the drip irrigation lines. And over here, same thing, they're running through uh, this bed. And so, you know, I'll, I know roughly, um, you know, how far, how far apart I've got them spaced and that kind of thing. So I won't cut them as I dig them up. But with this type of drip irrigation, it doesn't really matter. If you cut that with a shovel, it's not that big of a deal. Just try to get the dirt out of it and then, and then put a coupler in. It takes seconds to do. I have not hooked the pots up. You can probably see a little black line on the side of that pot right there. When I initially planted these containers out here, I uh, have them ready to be hooked onto the drip irrigation. So those will get hooked in uh, this week. And so overall, it's looking good. I mean, the big, big projects. Uh, coming. This place is eventually going to have a, a porch going all the way across the front. It's getting new siding very soon. It will be that same blue color as the uh, shed in the back. The shutters will be a different color. The door will not be purple. <laughs> so a lot of things, uh, a lot of changes coming on the house as well over the next uh, next couple months. But overall, the space is really starting to uh, take shape. So my task for this next week is finishing up this drip irrigation. And mainly at this point, that's going to be hooking up uh, all the containers uh, that I have in the yard uh, to, to the drip irrigation. The spot where the camera is actually sitting behind me it does not have drip irrigation yet. It's the only zone I haven't installed yet. Uh, the other thing is you didn't see any drip irrigation right along the road out there. There's gonna be a little white picket fence across the front of this, uh, near, the, near the street. And on the other side of that fence will probably be annuals and perennials and things I'm gonna to wanna to clean up uh, every year. And so I'm gonna use that thin uh, drip irrigation line, the same one I used in the uh, vegetable garden over there so that I can roll it up, uh, do whatever work I need to do in that space to replant it or improve it uh, year to year, and then I can roll that uh, drip irrigation back into it. So that's the plan with that. That's why it doesn't have the more permanent, larger, you know, half inch tubing uh, running through it right now. But that fence, I'll, I'm gonna put in sooner than later. That'll go in um, by early fall and really start to define that space and make that turf, that the odd angles that I have on that turf will start to make sense once I uh, have a fence out there and, uh, and, and have a path coming from the middle of the fence to the front door. All of that will start to uh, make sense. There's a retaining wall and all kinds of things going out there. And so, uh, uh, like I say, that turf, that turf I know looks like a strange design <laughs> right this minute, but it will make sense, I, pr I promise, uh, as, we go, as we go forward. So thank you very much for following along with these uh, weekly landscape updates. I'll be back sometime next week uh, with another one. Within the next two weeks, this place will be mulched and uh, pine strawed and uh, all the paths defined and uh, all kinds of things uh, that will, I think, make this place look like uh, what I had intended uh, from the uh, beginning of this year. Thanks for watching.